Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, why are the stars different colours? Throughout history, mankind has gazed up at the stars in awe and wonder. To the naked eye, most of the stars appear white. As the light from a star comes through the Earth's atmosphere, they appear to be twinkling. Until about 200 years ago, everyone that studied the stars thought that all the stars were white. And the most astonishing part is that stars come in almost all of the shades of the rainbow. When scientists started learning more about light and light waves, they realised that there were various kinds of light and the wavelengths were wide or tightly packed. As they studied the planets, they began to recognise that the light could be perceived in different shades of colour based on their wavelength and that wavelength can change based on the star's temperature. They continued to examine the various temperatures and colours and came up with a name for this, and it's called black body radiation. It seems like the stars with cooler temperatures have energy that is radiated in the red tones of the electromagnetic colour spectrum, while those that were hotter temperatures had the energy that radiated in the blue or white tones of the electromagnetic colour spectrum. The electromagnetic colour spectrum. Try and say that three times. The electromagnetic colour spectrum. The electromagnetic colour spectrum. The electromagnetic colour spectrum. Yeah, that's good enough. This makes the cooler temperature stars red, and the higher temperature stars appear blue or white. From cool to hot, the stars appear red, orange, yellow and blue. If you remember the colours of the rainbow, you'll actually see that these are in the same order. There is another important factor that can alter the star's colour. If the star has many elements in its atmosphere, it can actually change the light wavelength. And that will cause a change in the colour when we measure or observe them. This might actually explain why there are so many different colours in the stars that are being studied. The coolest stars are the red stars, and their temperature can be around 3000 degrees Celsius. Our own sun has a temperature of 6000 degrees Celsius. And this has an orangey type yellow colour to it. And the blue stars, which are the hottest, are about 25000 degrees Celsius. The largest stars in our universe expend all their energy much quicker than smaller stars. This means that they have a very short lifespan. This is like driving a car really fast, like one of those weird supercars that can only get about 5 miles to the gallon. Our Sun is considered to be a medium sized star, and it's halfway through its life cycle. But don't worry, it still has billions of years left to shine brightly for us. So as you can see, the colour of a star depends upon the temperature, as well as any atmospheric contributions. Scientists have actually developed very sensitive equipment that works with telescopes. This observes it and takes the wavelength of light, giving us the colour. This is known as spectroanalysis. But not only can it detect the star's colour, it can also detect what the star is actually made up of. The elements of a star will help us classify the solar systems and the galaxies that we discover. And by understanding the wavelength of light coming out from a star, we can understand its colour, its contribution of its atmospheric effects, and also what it's made up of. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into why stars are different colours, and also telling us about the atmospheric effects of the star that can also change the colour. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.